Hello, this is Mesh, and welcome to some gameplay, some beta gameplay of a title called Outpost Zero. So this game is labeled as being released in summer 2018, so take that with a grain of salt when this will actually come out. But what this is, is a survival um, exploration type game based on a planet which is obviously not Earth. So the description of the game, um, I'll just give you a, a bridge version. So on a lawless alien planet, uh, robot scouts are tasked with building an outpost for human colonization. So you command AI uh, minions, you colonize the planet, you survive the perils, you got native wildlife, rival corporations, space pirates, and the actual issues with the planet itself. So I have played this a few times, uh, the introduction, because it seems a bit buggy, and it's just beta, right? We're going to get things like that. But let's just go through the basics. I'll follow the newbie training guide and just show you the basics and what it's all about and what I've found so far. So the first thing it wants us to do is to equip a weapon. So it actually says open up the inventory there. Then equip the weapon by clicking it into your slot there. And we have this um, ASS, so the ass. <laughs> it's quite funny. And actually, I think it is quite a good... Um, it's quite a good way to actually learn the game is having a funny um you know a, a training guide which is quite amusing it's quite nice i quite like it so far so yeah that was our drop pod with with our gear in it which explodes which is not very good so it says swap between weapons so we do have this so this is the build weapon and obviously we've got the, our destroy weapon so also is advising how to look for resources in the area. So there's a tree there, which is a resource. So we can go up to that tree and we can smack it. And as you can see, bottom left hand side there, we're getting carbon. So that's slowly increasing as we hit it. And there is actually a creature over there, so I'll avoid that one. But what it's saying is if we press N, we can see on the map locations of resources around us. So if we zoom in, you can see here that we have a little bit buggy, but we have silver close to us, we have iron and sodium. And as well, if I get rid of the map again, it, as we see there's a compass in the center of the screen. So if I move, it tells you obviously the direction, uh, but it also points out the resources on there as well. So as you can see up here, we have a resource. So if I go over here, hopefully that that dog, wild dog thing doesn't attack us. So there we go, silver. So I hit that and we do gain silver. I don't know if you saw that as well. It's almost like a... Um, a proc or, or a, a random thing here where these little bits sometimes drop out which are actually a different that was a diamond so you get different things I've seen a few different things drop out of it, which is it's, it's a nice way to give I guess an RNG aspect to to a um, to a very repetitive gameplay mechanic so something which there we go diamonds again popped out I'm gonna avoid that thing because it looks like it wants to eat me so I'll go back over here over here let's just go for a bit of a run so we can get some more carbon down here and we'll look like we're safe what's in here sodium we'll get that we never know what you need for when we're building oh there's something there so potassium nitrate just popped out something else another one so it's, it's quite cool i do like that idea and it's, it's not as easy because if you're on a hill sometimes they do roll away from you so you know what's this saying now Okay, so we have the resources and it wants us to build some floor. So, um, so what is a good spot to build? This is pretty cool here. I quite like this. This is a good view. So I will just, I think here's pretty good. Got a good view, got lots, lots of resources around. So nothing, no enemies I can see directly around. It's a good spot, nice and flat. So let's hit the build menu. And let's shut this guy up a little bit. Shut the ass up. So there we go. Place four foundations to start your colony. It wants us to finish the construction by attacking with the handy item. I think they should change that wording. It, initially, it made no sense. It's like, well, attack? Why, why do you want me to attack what I just built? But it just, you know, it just means just shoot it. So if we get rid of that build menu, there we go. Strange wording, but anyway, it works. Here we go. So just do that. Let's finish off all these foundations, and then we can start building some. Um, some actual interactive stuff on top of it, which is quite nice. An interesting gameplay mechanic, which I really do appreciate, which I'm seeing more and more lately, is 
is the idea of not just having a a game with a server that you join and you have no no other option just to join this this multiplayer server. It actually we get the option with this game to make your own um, make your own server so you can you know have it private. Um, do co-op stuff or you can join other people so that really gives a lot of flexibility with a game like this which is very nice because some people want to play a game like this with no one else involved and some people want to play a game like this with just their friends involved so it is a fantastic option to be able to do that um, okay so what do you want a, a command center so let's load up the command center here I think it there it is okay there go okay. be quiet ass and it's have I got the right thing here the right Thing equipped? Yes, I do. Cool. Let's build this, and we'll should be underway to getting a little bit of. There we go. So this is now my owned territory. So the colony has reached level one. So it's cool. So let's. It wants us to build a furnace. If I shut that guy up a little bit, so go to the power option. So let's quickly go over the options here. Um, floors and ceilings. Bear in mind this is beta, so this could just expand out to a massive amount. Um, so we have walls. So windows, corner walls, quite nice, a lot of things there. That's a lot better texture, uh, you know, that visual style is much better than that. I wonder if that's going to be the end goal of all these menus, is to have that. That's much nicer. You can actually see the all of it. Um, what we have here is the just general kind of base options. What is it? Uh-oh, well, I hear something nearby. There's some spider things over there. They do charge at you, and their animation is pretty weird. Yeah, I think it's that it is. Okay, let's go kill it. Okay, I'm coming. We're going to do it. So let's take this guy out. There we go. Cool. So that's just a basic attack, right? I've seen those guys actually be pretty, um, pretty damaging and actually kill me sometimes. But I don't know why that one was so easy to kill, but it's okay. Let's go back here. So we picked up a little bit of loot there. Let's go back and let's continue on what we're doing. What we're doing is building a furnace. So let's go to the power options. There we go, steam furnace. Stick that there. And switch over to the handy weapon. And let's build that. Okay. And let's chuck some... Let's chuck some uh, wood in there. So carbon. Shut up, you... He is annoying when you're trying to talk, <laughs> but I do like I do like it when I played it for the first time and you're unknown, so it's exploring and all. I think it is a good addition, but when I'm trying to talk and explain a game, it is not helpful at all. Okay, so let's change this. Let's get a little bit more carbon here, and it seems as well these things, uh, so trees and general items take 10, 15 minutes to respawn. I want to say. It, but that might ch this is all up subject to change, right? Obviously, we just remember this is beta, but it just seems that things do respawn. So you could, I could chop all these trees down, come back um, the next day, and it'll probably all be back. Do I like that? Which I do like a bit of consequence to games like this. I would like it if you cut those down and there's no trees, so you need to look elsewhere. I think that would be quite a nice idea. But maybe that's an option in the server menu. Um, so if you make your own, maybe you can do that option. Okay, it wants us to build a charging station, so let's build that quickly. Charging station, there we go. Let's put that there. That's nice. And quickly build that. Probably wrap things up after this one. Uh, and I'll keep this nice short video. And I'll continue on. Um, uh, we've now got a little friend over there. Probably need to take care of him. But I'll leave this video here. This is just the basics, right? Um giving you an idea of what the game looks like the basic first steps but i'll continue and it looks like we have a sandstorm arriving as well which is quite nice oh there's more things like that as well but i'll get into that in the next video so stay tuned for that subscribe for future content um, around this game and other games in the future so until next time this is mesh and i'll see you later